one to increase crop yield and another to reduce pesticide usage. Uh, a comparison was done uh, by New York Times using United Nations data and that compared uh, the crop yield uh, in Northern America where GMOs are mostly accepted and most parts of Europe where uh, GMOs were rejected. And this study found that uh, it, it revealed that there was there were there were actually no gains, you know, of the germ crops in in in, in Northern America uh, over the, the crops the the yields that they had in European countries that had comparable um, agricultural technology, including France uh, and Germany. So this comparison was done uh, specifically on corn, on rapeseed and sugar beets. For corn, it was it was uh, there was sort of an equi uh, equivalence. Uh, the yields were about the same, but for rapeseed and sugar beets, there was increased uh, yields. There were better yields in Europe where uh, GMOs were not used than in uh, in North America. Uh, so we see how GMOs over time have not been able to solve the problem of hunger. This is almost. Uh, 30 years, and I think it's enough time for us to be able to uh, see the true benefits of GMOs. But that, on the other hand, beside the yeast, the claim that GMOs will uh, reduce pesticide use, it, it's pure fallacy because we find that the same corporations who are making the GM seeds are making the pesticides to accompany them. So how exactly um, is that supposed to work? So um, the same study cited has also shown that over time, the use of pesticides has actually um, increased. So we have the germ seed market uh, dominated mostly by crops that are heavy, either herbicide tolerant or pest resistant, right? So um, uh, the, 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 there's data, right, that showed that herbicide use in the US, for example, has increased over in, by over 21% in the last uh, in the last two, three decades. So I've been herbicide use has also increased by over 250%. And uh, for corn also, um, it, it had started decreasing until GMOs were introduced and then um, it increased. So these are information that are not considered by our government because uh, part of the consideration, uh, uh, in most cases, all of the consideration, especially in the case of the Wacot maze, It will compromise not only our food systems, but also our health.